On this episode, I'll be unboxing Looper from Nathan Johnson. Let's cue the music. Hello and welcome to the show. I have this gigantic box and in it is contained a looper from Nathan Johnson from the movie by his cousin Ryan Johnson. Uh, And this is a record that I believe was released in like 2013 uh, by Mondo and they just re-released it along with the re-release of Knives Out and the first time release of Glass Onion. This thing's too big. I can't. I hit my mic with it. It's it's it's, it's too big. I'm excited to see what's inside. But so that yeah, glass onion just came out. Now here's the thing. I just canceled my order of glass onion because uh, as of this recording, um, uh, I'm going to Amoeba in Hollywood tomorrow to hopefully get a uh, pressing of the limited edition glass onion record uh from mondo because nathan johnson and ryan johnson will be there doing a signing at 5 p.m so i believe uh that'll be later today for those of you who are watching this the day this drops so i'm very excited to open this because um a couple reasons first of all this was a birthday present from my sister sarah thank you sarah um she was nice enough to let me have this uh, early because it is about a month early, a month before my birthday. And she also allowed me to do this unboxing and not open it in front of her. So this is me opening it in front of her also. Uh, but the reason why I wanted to get this is because um, when it comes to Ryan Johnson movies, the only scores I have is on LP to get him signed is uh, The Last Jedi. And Nathan Johnson did not score The Last Jedi. Uh, They got somebody else to do The Last Jedi for some reason. It's the only movie that Nathan Johnson didn't score for one of Ryan's movies. So, I saw Looper was out. Uh, My sister got it for my birthday. Uh, It got to her early, and I said, would it be okay to do the unboxing and get get it before I head over to Amoeba to meet them? And uh, she said, yeah. And so here we are. And I need to open this now. So that I could take it with me tomorrow, um, in case I in case I get in. The thing is, um, this mailer is a, a big fat box instead of a normal Mondo mailer, so I actually have to cut into some tape. Um, so the thing is, uh, they only have I found out ahead of time. They only have two hundred copies of Glass Onion, and they go on sale when the store opens. And so I've got, I've got like a, I got stuff to do in the morning and I'm hoping to get up to LA and get in line. I don't know if there's going to be a long line for the glass onion limited release. I know how people get with limited, uh, vinyl, me being one of them, but at the same time, it's like, man, I don't want to, I hope it goes over smoothly. Cause I'm going to go when the store opens at 11 and the signing isn't even until, um, like five in the evening. So right off the bat, I'm opening this up. And one of the cool things about this record is it's not in a regular like slip sleeve. It's in a piece of burlap or some sort of cloth that Mondo has individually burned holes in. (laughs) So if you've seen the movie Looper, it makes sense. Um, uh, The, the, these guys, these these Looper guys go and they kill people from the future. The people from the f- uh, future get sent back. They appear in the middle of the field. The Looper shoots them in the head and strapped to their back in this sort of like burlap sack thing, straight jackety sort of thing, um, is bars of gold. And so this packaging represents that and so the burlap sack is all individually burned um let's open it up i'll explain it as we go so here's the record wow 
<laughs> so there you go. In the movie, George Simpson Gordon Levitt plays a younger version of um, Bruce Willis. And Bruce Willis shows up in the field, spins around, and gets shot in the back where the gold bars are. Look at this shine. I mean, it looks like gold bars. Um, this burlap sack. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put up the the barcode there. I don't know if that's gonna help you on um, on Discogs, but that's all we got is this burlap sack. So there's no OB strips. There's nothing like that. And if you if you look at the lines here, it spells out Looper. So these are bars of gold from the future. I don't know how to get this out. This is in here. Okay, cool. And I'm gonna have my fingerprints all over this. And there's the bars of gold. And you can see my shelf. For those of you that saw the teaser for this um, unboxing release, you got to see what's actually on my shelves. So all that stuff you can see in the reflections, uh, you can see on that post. So here it is. The bars of gold. Let's take a look at the inside gatefold. I, haven't, I don't know if I've seen this art yet. Um, oh, so there you go. You have Bruce Willis's eye and Joseph Gordon-Levitt's eye. Um, that's really neat. And again, it's super shiny. This is like um, the Wreath Birth of Mothra series. And this is two discs. And here is the info on the back if you can read it. There it is, Looper at the top. Um, Jay Shaw, I believe, uh, came up with this design, did this artwork. It's really nice. Um, and this is a track list. This is a really crazy album. I don't, I mean, for those of you that have this one already, like this is a really thick, like sort of burlap sack. And, um, if I'm not mistaken, this is actually burned. Like they actually have like some sort of flamethrower thing <laughs> that burns holes in these. And then it's sewn shut. Um, I kind of like this because I think storing it, I won't have to worry about dinging the edges and stuff because it's a big fat burlap sack. So, and also it's not plastic or cellophane. So um, it's good for the environment. So maybe I'll just, uh, maybe we can get more of these Mondo. That would be great. Let's take a look at the discs and see what other goodies we have inside. Um, I'm really excited for this. Uh, I really like the movie. I think Ryan Johnson is a fun director. And I like that other than Star Wars, like all of his movies are like, um, like original ideas. Um, and, um, I remember the first Ryan Johnson movie I saw was uh, Brick. We went to, we went and got tickets. Me and my friend got tickets at the, uh, here you go. Looks like it's a black vinyl. And it's a 45. So I'm going to have to make sure I put this on a 45 when I listen to it. This is going to sound real good. You're getting reflections in there and everything. But I like this concept, these lines that spell out Looper. Um, and then the Mondo logo, if you if I can get really good on that Mondo logo. It's just like also the lines. So that's really cool. Um, but yeah, I've been following Ryan Johnson since Brick. Uh, me and my friends got tickets to the, uh, to the Irvine university um edwards when that came out let's take a look at the other record the other record is going to pretty much look the same this is a black vinyl and there you go I have that upside down but very similar um and i like brick a lot brick and brick felt like at the time me and my friends were making movies uh like short films at home this is before YouTube, so we really didn't have an outlet for it. We would do screenings for our friends and family at a local theater. And so Brick was a movie where I felt like if we applied ourselves, this is the kind of movie we could make. Because if you haven't seen Brick, it takes place like at a high school 
in neighborhoods. And I, I want to say it was shot somewhere in the Orange County area, which is where I currently live and I have since I was 18. And I felt like, I'm like, this guy's cool. Like, he just made this movie. Obviously, he had, like, uh, people who were not just, like, friends. He had, like, some actual, like, actors that you've seen before. Joseph Gordon-Levitt, Emily, uh, Emily DeRaven, um, who was big in uh, at Lost, on Lost at the time. So, um, so it was a cool movie. It was a cool movie. And I've followed uh, Ryan Johnson ever since then. Um, and it's, it's terrific. Um, here's some liner notes. There's a lot to go over. I'm sure by now, since this is a reissue, that all of this is somewhere available online for you to read. If not, hopefully my camera is good enough for you to be able to read all this and pause it if that's what you're into. And here is the back of that with credits of all the musicians, which is great. I love when they do that. Um, I really do like when they credit all the musicians on the record. I was reading, um, oh God, I was looking at the liner notes of, I want to say it was, I know it was Alexandra Desplat. It was, um, I believe it was Godzilla, where they actually showed the floor plan of the orchestra. And then they listed everybody. But I thought that was cool. They showed where the percussion was in the recording studio and the horn section, woodwinds, all that stuff. Um, so, I mean, check that out. Um, that's Looper. I'm excited. I'm going to have to figure out if I can get this into uh, into Amoeba Records tomorrow and get it signed. Um, wish me luck. Hopefully it gets done. Um, thank you to my sister. This is awesome. I can't wait to put it on. I really like the music. It's nice and atmospheric. And um, I look forward to getting the next couple of Ryan Johnson scores in the mail or at Amoeba, which is Glass Onion and Knives Out. Um, I'll have to keep an eye. I don't think they did a release of Brick on vinyl, but if they do, uh, I'll have to get that as well. I definitely remember the music in that really stands out as well. Very atmospheric. Um, and then, yeah, I think Glass Onion might be my favorite movie of the year, and I can't wait to get the score to that. So, Mondo, you did a good job. Um, I mean, this is this is so much fun. I really like this. So thanks again, and to everybody else, um, thank you for watching. Thanks for scribe, subscribing. I have a lot of stuff coming up in 2023. Uh, go ahead, hit the like buttons and subscribes and share and all that stuff, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.